Hello, welcome back. Right, what has been happening? I know, I know, it's been three days. Everyone's going mental. Where's my videos? We're back. Okay, we've done the summer transfer window. We have some things to go through. <clears throat> First of all, finances. Um, every summer, we seem to make money. I don't know how. So we started on uh, last at the end of last summer, £71,000 in debt. We managed to get up to £4,000 in profit. Then throughout the season, we, we lost money. So we was £90,000 in debt. And we're currently £47,000 in debt. <clears throat> you know, but I don't know how we're making money by not playing football. The uh, promotion went very well. Um, we did go unbeaten last season. The, um, <clears throat> the last game that you saw was the... 3-2 uh, victory, which we came 2-0 behind from to score the championship. Then we played Esfaz, 1-1-0, you know, one, one, away at Stad Nebulian, 3-2 victory there. Again, after going 2-0 behind, <clears throat> come back Kings. And then last game of the season, uh, a 2-2 two, two draw, we went down, we weren't behind twice in that game. And I was thinking that the unbeaten season would, would have... Uh, capitulated but now it's all good this is just a cup game so that doesn't count and then this season uh, well we've done the finances transfers <coughs> da, 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 da. right uh, six players in couple of loanies who am i most happy with to begin with i can't remember um this guy's on my <clears throat> got a left back on loan from Star Tunis. Um, passing 12, tackling 13, marking 10, first touch 9. Heading is not brilliant, but if he's on the left wing, if he misses the header, it's not going to be the end of the world. It'll just be a cross into the box, won't it? Um, teamwork, uh, positioning is 10, uh, good physical attributes as well. He's just on loan for the season. Um, no. I'm Doomney, 30 year old uh, midfielder. Um, <clears throat> pretty standard, valued at four and a half grand. Got a two year contract. Uh, natural fitness 16. So that's what I'm looking for here. First touch 10, passing 10, techniques 13, work rate, good leadership skills, decision making. Um, heading's not brilliant, but midfield shouldn't be an issue. Um, next up on the old chopping block. Ben Ahmed, a midfielder centre. Um, I've just brought him in because he's 19 years old. Um, and at this level, if he gets a bit of playing time, he should improve massively. <laughs> to begin with, he's just a backup sub. Um, but not bad here. Uh, te uh, techniques 13, passing 11, first touch is 9. Good at corners. Anticipation's half decent. So we'll see if we can build, on it, build him up. <clears throat> see what can happen there. Another loanee from Stad Tunisian, <clears throat> a, um, <clears throat> a right back, centre back thing, tackling 14, 18 years old, uh, current ability 4 star, so tackling 14, marking 9, 10 is to be desired, good determination, good leadership, jumping, good, a good even though we can't head a ball, <clears throat> he could get there to head it, so he can, he can make the height, but he, when he gets there he just doesn't know what to do. Um, stamina is half decent as well. Um, another free transfer. We don't have any money to spend, so <clears throat> this is what we're looking at. 33 years old. Straight away, natural fitness 15. So no drama, no problems. Good first touch, marking, passing, tackling techniques are all excellent skills. Um, he's going to play in the centre of the field. If this tactic doesn't work at this level, we'll drop him in behind. So we'll play four, one, three, two, or, or something of that sort. But if it's if it's not working for us, we're conceding goals, then we'll drop him in front of the defence. <clears throat> Just in front of the defenders, players are holding sort of defensive midfielder role, and uh, see if that shows us up. Uh, last but not least, uh, Sabri Lunis, who I believe is from Atlanta, but now I know that that's not correct. No. <clears throat> anyway, <clears throat> a right midfielder or attacking <clears throat> or an attacking midfielder just in behind the, the um, 
just in behind the strikers. Pretty sure we've got him on the right hand side. <clears throat> yeah, so crossing's good, first touch is good, natural fitness 12, acceleration's pretty decent for a 32 year old, uh, pace is okay, technique. <clears throat> so, yeah, there's transfers. So, some youngsters, some, some older people. Um, what's the inbox? Just that. Um, good news, so that's good news. Yeah, we made some good transfers. So, we haven't started any playing in the games yet, but if we go to season preview, uh, with the transfers that I've made, we are three to one favourites to be promoted, um, which is good. We are expected to finish mid table. Only one team will win promotion, and Stad <coughs> Gabusin are two to five favourites. And if we just pick one of their players at random, let's go for a midfielder. Uh, not bad. Obviously, we haven't got full scout reports on these people. Fired at nine and a half grand, but you know the, we've got a chance, haven't we, this season? Um, so yeah, that's our squad, and um, we've still got a couple of trial shifts to get through. We've got a, a defensive wing back left who could be okay. Nineteen years old. We are going for youngsters, as you can clearly tell. We're waiting for these uh, this scout report to be finished, but tackling already at a minimum of ten. First touch already minimum eight. Passing's pretty good. Good leadership. Positioning should be okay. So I think this guy's gonna come on board unless these stats here are just massively out. Um, I think we'll be bringing them in. We'll keep you posted on that. And a left midfielder. Again, a youngster not looking as good at this moment, but we'll we'll have to play it by here. The preseason has begun in Tunisia. Nothing makes sense in this country. So let me just go to our schedule. Let me go to this season's schedule. <clears throat> Draw specialists, as you can see. So, January for the match, isn't it? So in July, we played 21st of July, 24th of July, 28th of July, 31st of July. Yeah, so we played, obviously, your July fixtures, your pre-season. That's when you play most, most games in any normal country. Drew, drew all the games. Just uh, obviously was experimenting. With, <clears throat> if you get trial shifts in, you can play them in friendly, so that explains most of those draws. Um, 4th of August, a friendly game. 7th of August, a friendly game. <clears throat> but the season doesn't start until the 27th of August. So we played six friendlies in two weeks, and then we didn't have a game for three weeks, and then it was the season. So I don't know what the hell was going on there. So we paid... <clears throat> Obviously, the, the money we saved, we spent it. Well, I spent it because we paid Bordeaux's second team to fly over to Tunisia on the 20th of August um, <clears throat> so we can... I, don't, I think I've... Oh, there we go. Okay, this, this cost me a lot of money to get this team out. Oh, they do actually have some good players. Oh, Lohan Koscielny! <clears throat> um, who else they got? Ryan Federick's... So yeah, we've got some half decent players. Uh, it's not the team I thought it was. No mind, it still cost us like sixteen thousand pounds to get them to fly out. So we should we'll get a full house for it, won't we? Um. <clears throat> so yeah, that is <clears throat> our team at this moment. Um, problems we are having. We are having problems. Nothing is easy. Um. Well, I'll start with the good news. <clears throat> our star striker. 26 year old in the prime of his life we've got him for another three years at 450 quid a week now i'm hoping that he absolutely smashes goals in this season and then next season we can sell him for some mucho cash money and replace him with a youngster but our other our, our other star striker youngster <clears throat> this gentleman here who's 17 years old um he doesn't want to play for us he wants to leave <clears throat> I've tried to talk to him, I've offered him, I tried to offer him a new contract, he didn't want a new contract, I tried to tell him that this was the best club for him, um, in terms of development, with game time, with the team we're putting together, he said that the club isn't ambitious enough, so despite me bringing in all these transfers, despite me, um, <clears throat> you know, despite the transfers making us sort of four favourites for promotion, 
bloody youngsters, eh? You can't can't do anything with them. Um, so yeah, he wants to leave, which isn't fantastic. Our uh, Karim Mani. So if you remember last season, we brought him on last couple of games. He's looking half decent. So if we compare him to the Mister I want to leave the club. <clears throat> So the guy in blue is obviously a lot better. This is the guy in blue. Um Buhali. Um now obviously defending is not really important. So mental, couple behind. Attacking is eleven to twelve. Better speed. Vision is non existent here apparently. But with game time, if this guy doesn't you know, if he just goes off in a huff, doesn't want to play football, we don't see performances on the pitch. I'll just swap him out. I'm not bothered. Like he's under contract for a year. I don't want. I want. Effectively, I want him to play, score goals. We do well. He signs a new contract. But there is a risk that if he we play, if we play him, he scores goals. He does well. Doesn't sign a new contract. Then we lose it. We don't get any money for him. And I'll be, so that's that's where we are. I have put him on the transfer list, <laughs> but I've uh, put him on at sixty thousand pounds. But I don't think that's unreasonable. I mean, if if these stats are, are true, and this guy was playing for like any League Two team in England, it'd be worth like half a million, wouldn't it? But it's just just we're in Tunisia, aren't we? So he's not known. You know, he, English clubs won't scout him, even if he makes it to the top league in Tunisia. You know, he's not going to be looking at. At massive, at massive amounts of money, but but that's it. So yes, he's an issue. Um, a goalkeeper, we've got him on a. He's signed a new contract for two years. Um, so we're hoping we're hoping that he can stay here. Obviously, improve and everything. And if you look at the general age of our squad, it's either we've got between the ages of seventeen and nineteen, we've got <clears throat> two thirds of the squad in that age bracket. Uh, we've got some middle-aged players, 23 to 26. And then at the end, we've got 29 to 33. So we've obviously got a midfielder. Sort of a core midfield team is is sort of all Ben Ahmed's 25, but then a right mid and centre-right mid of 32, 33, respectively. So that's it. That's what's been going on. It's been a good summer. We've had loads of trial shifts on in and around the building. Um, and we say we are we are favourites to to do well this season, which is very beneficial. Like I say, it's still a journeyman save, so we'll still be looking not this season because we want to see how it goes. We got sacked twice in the first season, and obviously once we start playing games, we will be. This is our third season now. Uh, what's this? Oh, we have a. A trial shift that we are giving offer to, 160 quid a week. What's he look like on the left? Not too bad. So again, 19 years old. The thing I found here, we'll go. I'll leave you in a minute. <clears throat> but the 30 year olds and things in the squad. <sighs> Where are you? The older they are, the sort of. Sort of the more money they want, so he was quite cheap at 250. So I, I've had left backs aged about 28, obviously better quality, but but nothing too, nothing major. You won't look at him and go, Oh, he's so much better. You go, Oh, he's yeah, a little bit better. So we're, we're going with youngsters because they're cheaper, um, in the hopes that we can give them some game time, we can improve them. We can either keep them or sell them. Make sure we've got a good a good uh, backup in that position, and try to progress this club at least for maybe at least this season, and we'll see what happens next season. But we want to make sure that when we do leave a club, we try to leave them in the best possible sort of situation. Right, so he's coming on board, 160 quid a week, um, a three-year contract. So obviously, it, the, even if he improves, his value will go up. But his wages will stay the same, unless we want to keep him, in which case we'll have to renew that. But we've got three years to figure out if this is, if Zoot is going to do any good. Um, and he didn't really work out. So that's where we are, kids. So, right, stay tuned. We'll, uh, we'll pop back uh, for the friendly game, and I'll see you in a bit.